Hello, this is Chaplain Bob Walker. Let's do Hosea, chapter 7, the commentary, verse 1. When I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered and the wickedness of Samaria. Now remember, northern Israel was divorced of God for their wickedness. Ephraim was the main tribe, and their capital was Samaria. So, when I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was discovered, and the wickedness of Samaria. For they commit falsehood, and the thief cometh in, and the troop of robbers spoileth without. Verse 2. And they consider not in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Remember, you can't hide nothing from the Lord. Now their own doings have beset them about. They are before my face. They make the king glad with their wickedness and the princes with their lies. They are all adulterers. Spiritual or physical? Hmm. As an oven heated by the baker who ceaseth, ceaseth, ceaseth from raising after he hath kneaded the dough until it be leavened. Now, people, leaven in Scripture from my, from my studies is always bad. Leavening is always bad bad in scripture that I have seen. Yeah, I know that the pastors will say that uh, the woman took the three measures of dough until it was all leavened, and they'll say, well, this instance, it's good. Mm, well, that's their interpretation. What can I tell you? Verse 5. In the day of our king, the princes have made him sick with bottles of wine. He stretched out his hand with scorners. Boy, I tell you what, anybody that's ever been sick from over drinking, this makes sense, you know? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been sick from drinking a few times. Maybe that's why I don't uh, almost never drink anymore. Verse 6. For they have made ready their heart like an oven. Whiles they lie in wait, the baker sleepeth all the night. In the morning it burneth as a flaming fire. They are all hot as an oven. Is this a reference to hell? They are all hot as an oven and have devoured their judges. All their kings are fallen there is none among them that calleth unto me. Isn't that sad? Among Israel, there is none among them that calls unto the Lord. Verse 8. Ephraim hath mixed himself among the people. What people? The heathens. The Canaanites. Ephraim hath mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. What does that mean, a cake not turned? Have you ever heard the expression, uh, he's half-baked? Well, that's basically what it's saying here. Ephraim is half-baked. Verse 9. Strangers have devoured his strength, and he knoweth it not. Yea, gray hairs are here and there upon him, yet he knoweth not. And the pride of Israel testifieth to his face, and they not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without heart. They call to Egypt. They go to Assyria. Yeah, they don't go to the Lord. They go to Egypt, which is always spoken of badly in Scripture. And then Assyria is not well spoken of either. Verse 12, 
When they shall go, I will spread my net upon them. I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven. I will chastise them as their congregation hath heard. You know what chastise mean? It means to get spanked. I am very, very, very familiar with being chastised. I know what it means. 13. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me. Instead of running to the Lord, they've run away from the Lord. Woe unto them, for they have fled from me. Destruction unto them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I have redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. And they have not cried unto me with their heart. When they howled upon their beds, they assemble themselves for corn and wine, and they rebel against me. Though I have bound and strengthened their arms, yet do they imagine mischief against me. They return, but not to the Most High. They are like a deceitful, a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue. This shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. A lot of Israel and Judah went down to Egypt. Instead of depending upon the Lord, they depended upon the gods, plural, of Egypt. I thought God took them out of Egypt. Oh, wait, yeah, he did under Moses, right? So why are they going back to Egypt? Because they really didn't want the Lord, so. All right, so all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to the Father and the Son, the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, amen.